In today's episode, let's take a look at Dash's hash rate, profitability, usage growth, and exactly how compliant it is. There's a lot more where that's coming from, so don't go anywhere. Hi everyone and welcome to the Dash News Recap. My name is Heidi and this video is dedicated to keeping you up to date on all of the recent Dash News highlights. Links to all of these news stories can be found down below, so let's get started. Kicking it off today, we are going to look at some of Dash's network statistics and how it compares to other cryptocurrencies. So let's get you all caught up. The CEO of Dash Core explained in a Twitter thread how Dash's year-over-year -year median number of transactions grew by 178%, which nearly tripled from the third quarter of 2018. Now, this also excluded Coinbase and private send transactions, which tend to only be intra-wallet and intra-personal transfers. Ryan also said that growth of other similar blockchain networks performance over the same time period was not growing as consistently or dramatically as Dash. Additionally, Taylor highlighted that the value and usage of various cryptocurrencies do not necessarily have to be reflected in their prices as the ecosystem is still growing. Dash's hash rate is up to around 3.93 petahashes, up from 2.14 petahashes one year ago, and only down slightly from its all-time high of 4.42 petahashes earlier this month. This is compared to Litecoin being down significantly from its all-time high of 523.81 terahashes in July to 231.45 terahashes. Bitcoin Cash's hash rate is currently at 2.41 exahashes, down significantly from 3.84 exahashes a year ago and last year's high of 7.88 exahashes. Then Bitcoin SV is currently around 1.21 exahashes down from roughly 1.44 exahashes after it split from BCH. From this over the course of a day, total fees generated by the entire Litecoin network was only $453.77. Bitcoin Cash was $103.91 and Bitcoin SV was $79.94 compared to Bitcoin generating $132,790 over the same day. This shows that many of the secondary cryptocurrencies are struggling to generate enough fees outside of coin emissions to generate long-term sustainability. Dash, however, relies on a combination of coin emissions, minor rewards, masternode rewards, and and treasury funds to fund the network. This combined with chain locks, Dash's younger age, and longer emissions rate help better prepare Dash for long-term sustainability. In a recent post, Dash Core Group Business Development Manager Omar Hamwi described how Dash is fully compliant with the new Financial Act Task Force, or FATF, travel rule, since Dash Private Send can only be enabled by the sender and thus do not pose a threat to exchanges since they can control outgoing withdrawals and there are ways for exchanges to comply with incoming transactions. This is actually more compliant than Bitcoin that shifts transactions off chain to the lightning network and do not record transaction data on the immutable ledger. Another week means another integration to report for Dash. So let's take a look at which new service or platform has integrated Dash. Utrust, a merchant service provider for cryptocurrency that previously integrated Dash earlier this month, has now integrated UK-based and multi-award winning IT and office product independent retailer More From. The integrations follows other merchant solution providers like Salamantex, AnyPay, CryptoBuyer, and others that have enabled numerous other merchants to accept Dash. This solves direct adoption problems where the merchant wants more additional point of sales features than what a regular cryptocurrency wallet provides. Now let's take a look at some of the recent media highlights that have featured Dash lately. If you haven't checked out this week's podcast yet, I highly recommend that you do. 
This week's Dash Podcast, number 127, the guys welcome Maritz, aka Mocha, from Voltoro to discuss how he got into Dash, if coin market cap listings accurately represent actual utility, what attributes define money, stable coins, gold, hedging risks with different forms of money, and more. That's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Dash News Recap. I hope that you found this video to be informative. And as always, links to all of this information can be found down below in the video description. I look forward to reading your comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's bye for now, but stay dashy.